Holy crap, wow, Zark, maybe Yuri just does what Monica said. Yes, yeah, something's weird. Also, oh, that reminded me. Crimson, you reminded me. This all might be a Monica thing because Sayori even alluded to maybe I should just do what she's told me or what she said. Oh. What? The missing letters, man. I feel like that's specific. Also, delete her is scary. Hi, don't do that. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. See? She's self-aware. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Okay, this is new. Anything? Okay, nothing shut up in the game files. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. You stink, dog. Who's please help me? Is Sayori trapped somewhere? Thanks for listening. Oh my god, dog's fart smells awful. All right, no files got added. I'm gonna check the trace back though. Yeah, there's nothing new. Okay, I guess I'll just continue forward. All right, Yuri, have you chilled out yet? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri, Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you, you like it? Big Papa, this one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. Oh wait, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try and give it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Big Papa. Everything you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Big Papa? No. I'm not being weird, right? I, I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I mean, you're not a fucking Vulcan. Kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Please don't be fucked up. Oh my god, it's long. Okay, we got a book. Uh, we'll read Natsuki in a minute. She's always the weird one. Look, there's a stain on her page. Oh, no. It doesn't move. That's weird. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A, a prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. Is she just describing a nightmare? Is this a dream journal? A thread connecting all living human eyes. Ugh. Kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding scar stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears in a ticking clock. A clock that ticks on a second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood. 
written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and opening hum and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. The fuck was that? Haha, uh -huh. it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind hasn't been a little, hy little hyperactive lately, so do so I had to take it out of on your pen. You just kind of wrote... I don't know what you did, actually. Uh, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday. I took home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it writes. I understand that. I like how the way pens write. So I wrote this poem with it. That's a poem? Now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. Are you? What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Sure. You can keep the poem, though. The oh, fuck! Okay. Nothing's changing in the background still. Yeah, just as I saw it! Is she gonna say, you chose me last? Big Papa, come on! I'm not stupid! I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri! It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. What are you even... Why are you even in this club, Big Papa? Honestly. I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look! I'm not in a good mood today, and I just really don't feel like talking right now. At least she's setting up her boundaries. Please go away! She mad. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? No. No. No, last time this happened, bad things happened. Oh, God. Oh! Tell me I have the notepad open. Shit. Oh, I remember some of it. On. Shit. Someone go back in the VOD and tell me. <laughs> what, were, what were the letters? Um, colors. There were C two O's. It was U. It was I, U, N. Fuck! Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... That's a fly. That fly ran up the side of the wall like a spider and it scared me. I'm gonna go back real quick. Go back. Although all the letters I had were um were vowels and that wasn't all vowels. Nothing is real. Life is Life is a lie. Nothing is real. Is that what it said? Life is a lie. Nothing is real. Did someone actually write down those characters? You guys are awesome. So I did have a right thought about doing the letters together. I just didn't know I needed to keep it around. Okay, everyone. That is a lyric a song from a comedian came up with. Oh. right we have something we need to go over today so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room is this about the festival well sort of Ugh. do we really have to do something for the festival it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days 
we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. It's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since Big Papa joined and we started with the club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about- or What's so great about getting new members anyway? Also, are those actually really secret poems? Or are they just kind of part of the story? That- Oh wait, I'm dead. We already have enough to be considered an official club! More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage! Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can, can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Big Papa? Why are you putting it on me? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Big Papa to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked to Big Papa. Wait. Yuri never even talked until Big Papa joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Oh, that's sad. And Big Papa isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. You don't know that. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. That's true. Monica is seriously taken aback by Natsuki's words. Oh, sad song. Two fucking flies again, are you serious? Th that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Big Papa want to get more members too. Right? Don't make me answer, please. I don't know about Yuri. Oh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Uh... No! Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. That's, like, the best club. Snacks? People hang out? Good with me. Why did I think that everyone here saw the same way as I did? That doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Big Papa, why did you even join this club? Because you asked me. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh! Now Monica's all sad and hurt. Can you fucking flies get the hell out of here? How? Oh my god! There's three! Again, I sw Do they come back alive? Am I not squishing them enough? Oh, I caught one. Trash can. Smash him first. Smash him! And into the trash can you go. Piece of garbages. Lies. Alright, if I see any way on my way back, smashing him. Stuff my leg. Stupids. Okay. Yeah, there's. I've killed like four flies today, and every time I kill one, two more show up. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? Oh, I feel bad for Monica now. What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. Yeah, you. I just spoke my mind! Yeah, tact, girl. 
Is it a crime to be honest? No, but you need tact. It's not about being honest. It's about a word choice. See? Yuri knows. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand it all! I, I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it all away from me! Yep, she's a child. She's not taking anything away. No, Big Papa! It's not the same! I, it will be the same with the direction she wants to take it. You don't know that. If I wanted that, then... Then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I, I'm going home. I, I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, you have an opinion on the fast festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, fucking what?! Who cares about that obnoxious breath? I thought that was Natsuki that was doing the weird voice. Okay. Whew, that scared me. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. <gasps> so that's a death. Can you stop doing that, please? Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What the fuck? Ew! Can you not? Okay, maybe Yuri's crazy. How's she doing that? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Big Papa? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide something that you, that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. Well put. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special, a special place. See, I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Her eyes bleeding. There's nothing in the folders, but her eyes bleeding now. So was that real? Is that just a shadow in her ear, or does her ear have a blood puddle in it too? With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Can you fix your eye? Also, that's the eye that kind of shifted off the her face before. Oh, with the little things that just sucks the flies up and traps them forever. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, that, the, that's a little, um, that's for little flies. These are big poop-eating flies, though. You know, the reason I call them poop-eating flies is because they're fat. Big fat ones, and I just, in my head, they get big and fat from eating big poops. I don't know, that's my, that's my brain. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica what's best for, then I'm on your side as well. That's nice. Well, maybe we can talk about talk. We can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend, Monica. I want to do everything again and make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Let's, we'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Oh, there are things changing in the background. Some of the, the papers are going blank. Jeez, Jada. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Big Papa? Oh, I'm going with her? 
please don't take this wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Big Papa before we leave. 